Well, here's the problem. Theists go to the same place atheists go to when they die. So apologetics cannot be concerned simply with theism. When Paul's at Athens, he says a lot about who God is, but how does he end? He ends telling the Athenians and the philosophers, guess what, folks, history does matter. As a matter of fact, somebody's coming back. And that one coming back is going to judge everyone who has ever lived. And so Paul says to the Athenians, God now commands now all people everywhere now to repent because he's coming. And then Paul says, we know he's coming because God raised him from the dead. The thing that they mocked in the marketplace when Paul was talking to them, you know, Luke tells us the Epicureans were there, the Stoics were there, like this guy, he's a babbler, he doesn't know what he's talking about. So you might think Paul would be, could be a little sheepish. Uh oh, they didn't buy the resurrection stuff, so I better not go there at the air. Not Paul. Oh yeah? You didn't like that? You need to hear it one more time. Christ is risen. He's coming back. And God commands me and you to repent because he's coming back to judge. So when we're thinking about apologetics, the beauty of what Van Til has helped us see is that in your apologetics, you start here. And Christ is at the center of it. And if the Lord allows, you don't let that person leave a theist before they hear of who the Lord Jesus Christ is and what he's done. 